So I found the Jeep, it's in Yuma, Arizona, I've gotta go get it. Uh, the only problem was I didn't tell my wife that I'd bought another Jeep to add to the pile of Jeeps at the house. So I was basically treading water on that and I told the guy, hey, I can't pick it up until the fall. And he said, that's fine because, hey, it's Yuma, Arizona, it's not gonna rust. So he literally just pushed it outside, threw a tarp over it and just let it be. Um, I finally told my wife that I bought another Jeep and we had to make a trip to Yuma, Arizona. And she said, that's great, because I've always wanted to go to Phoenix on a trip. So we loaded up the family, jumped in an RV, and drove to Yuma, Arizona to pick up another Jeep to add to the pile. We're still working on sheet metal on the bad old wagon. Last time we took care of all the floors, obviously, except for the firewall and my paper transmission tunnel. That's staying there until it's on the chassis. Uh, today it's gonna be a bunch of sort of odds and ends. I have to put some patch panels in place where I'm missing some sheet metal. And then I gotta do a couple upgrades. I put a bear claw latch in this door already and I'll show you how I did it on the passenger side door and explain why I did it. And then most important, is today getting rid of that sunroof. These are called bear claw latches, and the reason you put them in an old vehicle like this is because the stock latches, they're like a single stage latch, and I have a latch just like that in my 715 project, and when I'm wheeling it, when I hit a big bump, the door flies open. I don't want that to happen in this truck, so that's why I'm installing these. They're basically a two stage latch. They catch once, and then they catch again when it's closed, so if you do hit a bump, basically what happens is it does, it'll just pop a little bit open, kind of like a new car. Uh, you could buy install kits, but uh, I don't do that kind of stuff because I've got a plasma table. So I just went ahead and whipped out these little, uh, basically filler plates they're called for these bear claw latches and then the filler plate for the striker. And then uh, once they're in, these doors will stay closed when we're wheeling. I like that. It won't fall out of my truck. Boom, door. Next little panel I wanna make is basically for the interior. So from the factory, I don't know, I think that there may have been some sort of interior panel that went on in this little channel right here. And I've already talked to the guy who's gonna do the interior in this truck and he said that I can just make some interior panels and he'll recover them to match my seats. And I don't have anything for it to attach to down here on the bottom. I probably could just run it down and let it sit, but that's not gonna look cool. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna duplicate this little step bit uh, right down here on the bottom. Now, I've already cut a bunch of little pieces and bent them in my little brake at 90 degrees. And then all I gotta do is mark them and start rolling some little steps in them with the bead roller. I'm a hot rod builder. Hot rodder!
Somebody put in the roof of that Willie's wagon a 1980s style pop-up glass sunroof, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know whether the original owner that I bought this truck off, whether it came in there already. If he put that in there, he didn't deserve to own this truck anyway. I'm glad I took it from him. Anyway, I got to replace the hole, so I'm not leaving that sunroof in there. But then I had this brainwave. I love these folding ragtop tops. I mean, that Volkswagen back there, that's my very first car. And those Volkswagens, they came with folding rag tops. And I've always wanted to put one in something. So this is the truck. It's a complete kit. This is 35 inches by I think 60 inches, which is a good size. Doesn't take up the whole roof, just enough that you'll have a good open air feeling. And uh, all I gotta do is take a bunch of measurements and then cut a giant hole in the roof of my wagon. More cutting. Let's put this thing down on the ground and chop it, chop it, chop it. This folding ragtop roof is from Legacy Products. Now they custom build these sliding ragtops in a bunch of different sizes. This one is 35 inches wide, 60 inches long, which will fit perfectly on our wagon's roof. It's a pretty easy installation, just follow the instructions. It's already pre-arced for the arc in the wagon's roof, and once it's in, it looks badass. So today was kind of all about bodywork. And bodywork, honestly, it's one of those things always makes me nervous. But my friends who are body guys tell me that I shouldn't be nervous about it because it's no different than working with any other metal. It's just time and patience and working with it slowly. And I think I'm kind of at that point now, so I'm feeling good about where we're at. This is definitely right now my favorite part of this rig, this huge sunroof is the right thing to put in here because that little 80s sunroof, that wasn't gonna cut it. This is perfect. Look at all that. There's so much room in here. So that's it for today. We'll see you next time in the Big Tire Garage. Mm -mm.